Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See? You'll still make it if you go now. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I suppose. Idiot! Suppose. It's no mistake. Oh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' no. How you calling my friend? You said you won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. That's oh! right. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! <laughs> well, guess it turned out so all right. Not funny. Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed, with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So... I need you to continue working hard, so that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you, so I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross. 